What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do the kaleidoscope effect inside DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into it. The kaleidoscope effect is something that can be used in multiple situations. Maybe you want to overlay it on top of a video to kind of have this dreamy feel to it. Or maybe you're shooting a music video and you want to have this trippy, you know, kaleidoscope effect to really trip out your audience a little bit and spice up the video. Whatever you're wanting to do, this effect really can go across multiple videos. Recently, I was messing around with the kaleidoscope effect and I made some actually really cool things out of it. If you guys are interested in picking up that pack, it's only a couple bucks. It's got some really cool kaleidoscope effects, lens flares, light leaks, a lot of really neat stuff inside this pack, and I tried to make it as cheap as possible. So if you guys are interested, check it out in the description below. But let's hop inside DaVinci Resolve, and I'm gonna show you how to make this. Okay, so there's two different ways that we can accomplish this effect. I'm gonna start with the first one with just this basic clip I have right here of some of the prism I was messing with my camera, getting lens flares and light leaks and stuff like that. Uh, and then this one, I've got a clip from a music video I shot a while back. So I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to do this. The first one, what we're gonna do is with the video clip selected or hovered above, we're gonna hop inside Fusion. Once we're inside Fusion, the only thing we need to add to this node tree is a transform node. You can click it right here, or you could hit Shift Spacebar and bring it up that way. Um, the only thing we need to change is right here under the Inspector, Transform, and Edges. Instead of Canvas, we are going to do Mirror. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna size that down. So now you can see that it just keeps making it more and more of it until it got so small that I can't do it. I don't need to get too crazy, so we'll just do something like that. I do like to mess with the angle a little bit to throw it off. Uh, let me play that through, see what that looks like. That actually looks pretty cool. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add a keyframe at the very beginning. I'm gonna rotate this the opposite way. I'm gonna add a keyframe on angle and on size, and I'm gonna scroll towards the end, and we're gonna rotate that a little bit and we are going to size it down even more. So now if we play that through, it kind of has this morphe turn. Uh, it's just, it's an interesting thing. Now I know what you're thinking, this isn't a true kaleidoscope effect. It doesn't look exactly like it, and you are correct. This is kind of a cheat way to do it. Um, it will be a lot easier on your computer, I can tell you that much doing this method, but if we don't want to do this method, let me delete this transform node, get back to the beginning of my video clip. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on media one or you don't have to be clicked on it. I'm gonna hit shift spacebar and we're gonna look for mirrors and we're gonna add that right into our node tree right here. And I know you're looking at it and you're like, well, that doesn't really look much better either. But what we're gonna do is under the inspector mirrors one, we're gonna go to mirror placement and we're gonna scroll down to kaleidoscope. And that is going to give us a true kaleidoscope look and feel to it. Uh, and in here you can mess with a whole bunch of different things. You can mess with the position X and Y. You can really start to uh, really start messing with things. Maybe we want it to be a lot smaller. Uh, let's maybe do right here we'll add a keyframe. Actually let me hit Command Z, go back to the beginning, add a keyframe, go to the end and we'll size it up a little bit and it will automatically add a keyframe. Maybe we'll do the angle, a keyframe there, go back to the beginning, and maybe just turn the angle a little bit more. So now if we play that through, you can see that's a true kaleidoscope look. Of course, you're going to get better results with different lights that you have, different light leaks. Uh, I was filming the corner of some of my prisms and I was getting a way better effect doing that. You're also gonna get really trippy effects if you could actually grab a prism from the dollar store or a toy store and use that to be um, what you want to film. So you'd really be tripping people out that way. You could just hop back in the editor, let it render out. Maybe we're gonna drag it on top of this video clip we have right here. Go over to the inspector, composite mode. Uh, maybe try add, that's a little bright. We could turn the opacity down a little bit. Uh, we could also try like darken. Um, sometimes different ones look better. Hard light would look kind of cool. Turn that down a little bit. That actually looks pretty cool. Let that render out, play that through, and that's, pretty cool that's kind of an interesting little look to it right there 
Let me move this back off over here real quick. Now let's say we want to actually do the kaleidoscopy effect on him right here, like I did at the beginning showing you guys. Once you're inside of Fusion, we would do the exact same thing. We'd click on Media 1, hit Shift Space Bar. We're gonna look for mirrors again. We're gonna add that into our node tree right here. And in here, I like to go over, hit Kaleidoscope first. And then I'm gonna grab this little diamond right here in the middle again. I'm gonna find his face right about there. Uh, you can mess with it over here also, but it's just easier for me sometimes to grab it and move it around. We'll do right there. We're gonna go right to the very beginning actually. Let me find his face again. I'm gonna add a keyframe on positions and then I'm gonna scroll over because he moves a little bit. We're gonna put it right there. Nothing too crazy. Go over a little bit more, maybe move it a little bit more there, and we'll move it right there onto his face. Again, you don't have to add those keyframes if you like his face getting weird throughout it, you can. I just kinda like tracking it because I think it looks better. You can see that we've got a kaleidoscope effect actually on the video clip itself. You could grab that same one we had, double it up, and play that through and it'll make it an even more trippy effect. Uh, you can even blend that out, maybe fade it out a little bit to look a little better. And that looks really cool. There you go guys, that's two different methods on how to create the kaleidoscope effect inside DaVinci Resolve. If you guys are interested in that pack, it's in the description below, like I said, go check it out. Everything that you guys pick up in my store goes back to supporting the channel so I can do more giveaways in the future, more specific videos to give back to you guys in the community. So if you guys would like to pick that up, I'd greatly appreciate it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already with the bell notification turned on so you don't miss any new videos. You guys are amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. I'm out. Peace.